Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Chef Mickey's just started serving dinner again, so I made myself a reservation and decided to come and check it out. If you have dined at Chef Mickey's in the past, this is a whole new experience. The characters are still here, and the food is family style, all you can eat, but a lot has changed. So, let's go do this. I have always been obsessed with the contemporary. I just think it's such a magnificent structure and I love just coming to the back side. So if you actually walk through the main lobby and come out here, you get a whole new perspective and it's just beautiful. And plus you get to take your pre-Chef Mickey Mickey photos. I mean, that's a must do if you're eating at Chef Mickey's. As most of you guys know, you can walk around outside without a mask on at Disney, but inside the resort, you need to have your mask on until you get to your table. And of course, since we are in the contemporary, we're gonna explore around a little bit until it's time for our reservation. I just love it in here so much. Oh wow, we just came up right as a monorail was going right through. The timing couldn't be any more perfect. What is that? Sorry, that literally caught me off guard there. It's the first time I've seen all the construction inside the Contemporary. I've been gone away a couple of days, so wow. <laughs> Take a look at that though. I knew that it was actually in line for a refurb soon, but I didn't know it was already gonna happen. I can't wait to see what their new rooms are gonna look like. It's probably gonna be beautiful. I am so excited to see all the new food offerings they're gonna have at Chef Mickey's. And we are actually a little bit early for our reservation. So I'm gonna see if we can check in and maybe we can get seated a little bit early. And yeah, wow. I went in and asked and they said, yeah, we can see you right now. I thought for sure all of the reservations were actually booked up because this is new. This is like brand new. They just started it, but I guess it's our lucky day. Take a look at the restaurant. Now this used to be a buffet. They still have the food set up kind of like a buffet. It's family style. The only difference is the waiter or waitress is actually gonna bring it to you. So you can eat all you want. And I just love it in here. I love seeing all the different Mickeys. It's probably the best thing about Chef Mickeys. Now that we're at our table, we can take our mask off, relax a little bit, look over the menu. The only thing we have to look at the menu wise is what to drink. They do have some specialty non-alcoholic drinks and of course beer and even some cocktails, but everything else is already included in the price. It's family style. They bring out your salads, your desserts, and even your entrees. It's kind of like a big platter. You know, uh, most of the restaurants that do that, like Whispering Canyon Cafe, and uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones that are actually like that. But anyways, that's how they actually bring it out. And it's not like Crystal Palace where you order per entree to get an unlimited amount of those. So you just get a big skillet. Oh, like Liberty Tree. That's a good way to put it. It is $55 a person. That includes your drink and your salad, your entree and desserts. And then they have these specialty drinks, iced coffees and hot chocolates. And even the chef's specialties, it's like a smoothie. So this one is Mickey and it's uh, strawberry and mango with whipped cream and Oreos. And then this one is strawberry and vanilla with whipped cream and a chocolate bow. I actually might like the mini one a little bit better because I don't like mango as much. I think I'm gonna get it. That looks fancy. And of course, while you enjoy your meal, Mickey and all of his pals are gonna come out and they're gonna, you know, say hi and probably dance in the middle. I always love how they put on a show here. Now, it's gonna be kind of like a socially distant meet and greet. Uh, I think this is gonna be one of the better ones compared to Garden Grill because that one is behind you. So this one's gonna be right in front of us. And I'm gonna probably like it a lot more. Here is a look at everything that you're gonna be getting. The first course, comes with a seasonal compost plant-based salad, Chef Mickey Caesar, and then a citrus poached baby shrimp, along with a nice bread selection. And they already brought that out. Take a look at how fancy this is. Holy moly. I'm one person and they brought all this out. I'm gonna be full. Like this is gonna be a challenge. Oh, I can't wait to try the shrimp in there. And then also this salad looks amazing. It looks like some nuts in there. Along with my salad and bread service, they brought over my specialty drink. And I'm excited to try this because this looks so good. I'm sorry, Mickey. You're my pal and all, but Minnie's drink looks so much better. Like I said, I like the vanilla and I like the strawberry. I'm not a big fan of uh, mango. And just look at this. This is nice. And it's only $6. I can't wait to give this a test here. 
Well, that didn't work good. I think it's a little thick. Okay, much better. Oh, that's good. That is nice. I'm gonna drink that so fast. I wish these were uh, free refills, but I know they're not. That is really delicious. Now we gotta dive into this salad a little bit. Maybe a little avocado, a little bit of shrimp, a little shrimp. Gotta get some of the, the greens in there. A nice mixture and a nice tomato. That's the way. And here we go. Mm. All of the salads are actually pretty delicious, but my favorite has to be the shrimp. I've already picked out and eaten most of the shrimp. It also has avocado in there. This one has avocado as well. And I, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of salad for one person. I mean, not too many other people are probably out here dining by themselves. And I'm pretty sure they bring out the same amount to each you know, guest. And uh, I just got lots of salads to go through. But now I want to jump on over to the breads here, because this looks good. I mean, the breads look phenomenal. I'm gonna do a little pull apart and then a bite. Oh yeah, the bread service is the best. Oh my lord, it's like garlic bread, honestly. Very, very nice, soft and fluffy. This is a good start right here, I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, I thought the salads were a little bit fancy. Like, you know what I mean, I wasn't expecting all that. And now the amazing bread, I can't wait to see what the entrees are gonna be like. I do need to take it easy on the bread though, because if I eat too much of the bread and salad, you have no room for the entrees. And they're bringing out a whole big skillet full. And I'll give you a look of everything that's gonna come on the skillet. And then we have dessert. So you gotta, you gotta pace yourself. You gotta take it nice and easy. Okay, so I ended up having another roll and I finished my salad. But now we're gonna take a look at what we're gonna get with our entrees. It looks like we're gonna get some potato gnocchi. Comes with a roasted marshmallow cream. Marshmallow, huh. Roasted marshmallow, but it's roasted mushroom. And then we're gonna get a roasted garlic potatoes. And then also, ooh, some wheat fried rice. That sounds amazing. Baby carrots, asparagus, yes. I'm liking all of this. Prime rib turkey salmon tofu very nice i believe they had me at prime rib and asparagus but the gnocchi that's just taking it to another level i mean this is going to be something else probably a little bit better than what we would normally see with the traditional skill like you know the uh, beef and turkey and even at whispering candy i mean whispering candy has a good selection of like different varieties of skillets but this one is definitely unique i can't get enough of this though Little brain freeze. Oh boy, I'm in trouble here. Oh, that rice looks so good though. There's the salmon. That's right. There's the gnocchi. Correct. <laughs> and the gratin. Wow. This is so much food. It is so much food. What am I gonna do? I can't eat all this. Well, or maybe I can. Let's do the best we can. <laughs> all right. I'll leave you here for a while. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So he said they don't do scaled down portions because everything is actually at the buffet. He just goes up and grabs one of each. They're all plated that way. Ooh! Mickey and his friends are, his pals are coming out. Oh, here he comes. There's Pluto. There he is. Oh, this is awesome. So they're gonna come in like one at a time. Oh, that is so cool. And they're actually spending like a good quality of time at each table. Hi friend! Hi Pluto! Gracie says hello! Yeah, Gracie says hello! <laughs> I love it. Thank you! Oh boy, I think we need to wait until we get all of our character interactions in. Like, I, I don't want to get caught like mid-bite and then Mickey come in I'll be like, Mickey Bobby! So like, I'm gonna wait to eat. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> But let's just take a quick look again at the food. The prime rib right there looks perfect. And it has some nice onions on there, some turkey, the baby carrots, and look at that asparagus. The rice is actually probably my most anticipated thing. The gnocchi too, but I'm not too sure how I feel about the creamy mushroom sauce. We'll see when we get there. And then over here, a nice helping of salmon, and then the potatoes. Look at little Mickey, fancy. Chef, Mickey, 
Mickey, right? <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> That was worth the wait. Mickey is such a chef. What a chef. <laughs> and I think we're gonna start off with the main skillet here. <gasps> no, we're not because Minnie is here now. Thank you. Okay, we gotta eat something or it's gonna get cold. I'm sorry, I get so excited when the characters come out. First things first, turkey. We gotta go with the turkey. I feel like Disney's turkey game is kind of always the same, so I'm excited to see if we have a different type of turkey here. Mmm. I think it's different. I like it, it's softer. The gravy's definitely different. I like it. And then of course we gotta grab ourselves a little baby carrot. Ooh, that's not a baby carrot. I'm keeping my eyes peeled because the goof is next, so you have to be careful. It's the best carrot I've ever had at Disney. Wow, I like that a lot. Holy moly. Goopy and Donald are coming? Oh my lord. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Here's the man. <laughs> I love it. You're the man, Goof. Thank you. <laughs> okay, back to the food. Carrots, unbelievable. Best carrots I've ever had at Disney. I love the glaze, it's so delicious, and they're just like the perfect texture too. Now, we're gonna dive into this prime rib. And this is looking good. I wish they had some au jus with it though. Let me see if I have a knife, because I don't wanna take that big bite. But some au jus would be wonderful. There we go. That is some good prime rib right there. Oh boy, I love it so much. All right, now I gotta go with this rice, because the rice look good. Mm -hmm. He's coming back for an encore. Encore! <laughs> he ran back in one more time. That was great. Everything has been exceptional so far. I've taken just like one little bite of each, just so I can kind of gauge what I'm gonna like the most. But if there is something that you do like, like for instance, if you liked more of the salmon or the prime rib, you can get more of just the prime rib or just the salmon. So that way you're not like over like, you know, wasting food. This is just the preliminaries. So you get what you get always to start off with. I'm not a big fan of salmon from the get go. So normally I wouldn't ever try it. But if it's here, I have to try it. I have to. And this is something I've actually developed and learned when it comes to vlogging and doing all these amazing things is because old me, I wouldn't even touch that salmon. But there were things I've eaten before that I didn't like that if I tried and made myself try it, it was delicious. So you never know. Maybe this is the salmon that's gonna change my mind. We're gonna find out in a second. Oh, I'm a little nervous though. Okay, here we go. Did not change my mind. So far, my favorite things in order is prime rib, carrots, turkey, asparagus, gnocchi, rice, potatoes, salmon. Oh, I didn't even try this yet though. It's like a little rice cake, a Mickey rice cake it looked like. I always feel bad eating like Mickey shaped things and then kind of like destroying them, but you always eat ears first. Here comes pastry chef Donald. <laughs> Thank you Donald, you're the man. I love it. <laughs> These carrots are so amazing. 
Wow. So not only do the characters come out so you can take a social dish and selfie, but they also come out and do like a little performance as well. And that's usually how Chef Mickey's was. Oh, now they're all coming back around. Pluto's coming in to dance. <laughs> Now Minnie's making her way in. <laughs> hey! Look at his little paw spatula. That was awesome. You know what my favorite thing about Pluto is? His whiskers. They're so, like, like springy. I love it. Okay, I think I did pretty fair. I mean, the only thing I didn't really devour was the salmon. I'm not a big salmon guy. If I'd known that it was coming with salmon, I would have said, only bring me one piece. But this is what they traditionally bring out just for everybody. And I did pretty good. I ate almost all my veggies. Oh, there's another carrot. I'm definitely going to be eating that carrot. Don't worry about that. But overall, I really, really enjoyed the food here. It was well beyond my expectation of what we were going to get. If you are not a fan of mushrooms, be aware that there is a lot of mushrooms in all the different entrees. But you can't get it without mushrooms. I'm just not too sure about the uh, gnocchi, though. That's, a, that's up in the air. The prime rib has mushrooms on top of it as well. But you could get that without the mushrooms, I know. And leave no carrot behind. Oh boy, it's not over yet. Here is the dessert. And he brought out duplicates. Oh, what am I going to do here? That is a lot. So, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. How am I going to eat all this? I love how I'm like, oh, how am I going to be able to eat all this? You know I'm going to put a big dent on this dessert. I mean, who are we trying to fool here? I don't know if I'll finish it all, but I am definitely going to put a big dent in it. And I think the first thing I'm going to dump into is the cake. And look, it has a little tiny contemporary piece of chocolate. So, oh, here it is. I'm going to put that right on top of there. And then, perfect. That is delicious. A nice strawberry cake. But look at these little Mickey domes here. Those are Oreos at the bottom. I wonder if it's cake on the inside. We're going to cut right through it. Okay, here we go. Sorry, Mickey. Ooh, look at that. It's not cake on the inside. It's like a mousse. But the Oreo soft, probably because the uh, cake is sitting on top of it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. The best way to describe this is if you dunk your Oreos in milk and get them nice and soggy, and then you eat them afterwards. But like, there's no milk. It's like a soft, chewy Oreo with the chocolate mousse on top in the shape of a Mickey. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, one to go. And look at this one, it has a little Chef Mickey medallion right in there. And I can't wait to try this. I think I'm gonna pick it up. It's kind of like a little apple pie. Honestly, I don't know if it's an apple pie or not. I won't know until I actually bite into it. So, my, my, Miss American Pie. It's an apple pie. <laughs> it's an extraordinarily good apple pie. The desserts are a home run. Look at that. It looks like I've been here long enough that I'm going to catch the characters come back out. And it's kind of like buying lunch at a buffet and staying for dinner. So we're going to get like a second act. Here comes Pluto. How funny is that? Oh, Tim, good job, man. That's the way. <laughs> well, hello there, Pluto. I like your whiskers. Look at that. Look at this springiness. <laughs> I remember actually coming up to the buffet here and it was such amazing desserts they had. But now they got a lot stacked up here. 
see all they do is just come up and grab it and take it to the table so there's no like separating it so i mean if it's a big party they probably bring out two but wow this restaurant has changed a lot and with that i am full <laughs> That is a lot, a lot of food, and I enjoyed every single bit of it. Definitely the best character dining right now. Honestly, out of everything that's about, uh, they are the most interaction, and they come back and do that little performance. I, I can't think of anything that's better right now than that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We will see you next time. Bye!